Hi and welcome everyone, Lisa from the Relativity of Paper. Today I'm sharing two cards that I created using the Victorine Originals Map Background Stamp. One is for a sentiment, you're the best mom in the world, and the other is for a sentiment across the miles. Most of the time you don't see people using map stamps for um, female or feminine cards, and I decided why not. So here we go. I'm going to be using some Lawn Fawn um, perfectly plaid papers. I'm also using Distress Inks and Worn Lipstick, Spiced Marmalade, Mustard Seed, Shabby Shutters, and Peacock Feathers. And you're going to need a, some kind of stamping tool um, because you do a lot of repeat stamping. So you'll see I started here and all you do is randomly lay down some of the Spiced Marmalade to get started. And then you want to take your mustard seed and kind of wrap that around that spice marmalade. The key to this is to remember red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Keep those colors side by side and you should be fine. So if you lay down red, lay down orange next. If you lay down orange, lay down yellow next. If you lay down yellow, lay down green next. If you lay down green, lay down blue next. So that the colors work together instead of against each other. And because the wrong colors together, as we all know, can create some pretty awful colors and a, a lot of uh, awful browns. And if you get a little bit of brown, don't worry too much about it. I actually had a little bit of brown on mine and it worked out just fine. But as you'll see, this is a very simple technique. You're just randomly laying color down and you just keep adding it until you have the whole image stamped. So for the next one, we're actually going to be using five colors instead of four. And we're going to start with the worn lipstick because we want to add a little bit of pink to this. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to randomly lay that ink down. Now, when you're working in the center of your uh, a large stamp like that, and you want to do just a little bit of space, if you'll just tilt your, temp, your stamp pad just a tad and lightly just kind of dab the color on there, you should have no problems getting it on there. Now, the smaller, the mini cubes, they work great for this technique if you're using a big stamp. And you really do need a big stamp for this. So I just continued from the worn lipstick onto the spice marmalade, to the mustard seed, the shabby shutters, and then the peacock feathers. And I worked with that same idea in mind, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiments right beneath these, and I'm going to use this sentiment from Altenew called You're the Best Mom in the World, which is I think perfect for this stamp. And we use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink on that. And then we're going to use a stamp sentiment across the miles. And we're using Memento ink and Espresso Truffle. So once we have that done, the next step is up to you. You can cut this with your paper cutter to keep that border around it. I chose to use a stitched rectangle die from Simon Says Stamp to die cut mine, and it does cut that border off, but that I was okay with that because to me it gave it a little bit of a cleaner look, and I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my plaid papers at four and one eighth of an inch and five and three eighths of an inch. I die cut my banners, as you can see that one laying there, with a die uh, banner die cut. Um, yeah, I just realized what I said. I die cut my sentiments with a banner die cut. Okay, now that we're back on track. We went ahead and used our mini scoreboard to lay down our plaid papers onto our white card base. And we're using some fun foam here to add to the back of our stamped images. And I use fun foam that is uh, has one side um, with self it's already has some adhesive on it. So if you're okay with that, I've never had any problems with mine, go for it. If that's not your thing, then by all means, use whatever works for you. You can even use the 3D mounting foam tape instead of the fun foam. So I decided that my sentiments needed a little bit more oomph to them. So I die cut some aqua and coral. I also die cut some plaid that was left over 
from the plaid that we cut for our matting. You're also going to be able to use your extra fun foam so you end up with very little scraps with this card, which is a good thing. And I'm going to use my mini scoreboard again to line the stamped images up. And then I'm going to start playing around with the die cut banners to decide how I want to layer those up with my sentiment. Now I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up with the colors. The bottom is aqua and then I went into the plaid and then the coral color and then I added some fun foam to the back of my sentiment and added that to the other colors that I had stacked. Now for the other card we're working on, I'm actually going to use aqua on the bottom and then I'm going to add some fun foam to the back of my sentiment and you see that my sentiment has a lot of white space left over so I'm going to take a piece of the plaid and add to that. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. Once we finish that, we're just going to go ahead and adhere these down and then we're going to add some enamel dots and I'm going to use some turquoise enamel dots on the card on the left and I used a light aqua and then pink and coral color on the card on the right. These are doodlebug sprinkles and they're the birthday girl assortment and the fall assortment. So here you are, simple cards again and um, with a fun stamping technique. I hope you'll give it a try and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll come back and join me again. Thanks and have a great day.